Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this video, I would show you how you can leverage the newest functionality Google Drive team rolled out, which is called Target Audiences. Before I show you my screen and show you how to set that up so that you can recommend secure document sharing to your users, let me give you a bit of contactual overview so that you can understand what's missing without this functionality and how this functionality make your drive document sharing even better. So with that, let me share my screen and let's cover this new functionality in much details today. Okay, so let's cover target audiences in great details. First of all, what are we missing without target audiences? Well, this is the old state, like in case if you do not have the plan that supports this functionality, this is what you would be missing or every edition has been missing. So in case you share your sensitive documents or maybe your non-sensitive documents, options to share that you have is obviously restricted which means you can share it with only specified people whom you manually put by typing their email address or you can share it with anyone with the link that means external parties as well including making it public if you want now in case you need to share the document within your company or within your organization the only option that you had was share it with everyone in your Google domain. That includes everybody who has the user account within your Google tenant. However, with the launch of target audiences, you should be able to recommend even more granular sharing to your users. And this is what I meant. So now you can create target audiences as, as you see on my screen now. For example, full-time employees, contractors, sales team, etc. And then under these target audiences you can attach group of people so for example under a full-time target audience I can attach a full-time employee group which would have everybody who is a full-time employee of our company and then I can assign this specific target audience to either an organizational unit or maybe to a group of people and then when these organizational unit or group members go to Google Drive and share any document they will be presented with this recommendation and of course you can change the order of these recommendation now before I share my screen and show you how to set that up just a quick note on the logistics this new functionality is not available in all the plans as you see on my screen if you're using Google workspace till the time you have business standard plus or enterprise standard and plus you're good in case if you're using G Suite via business or enterprise SKU, or maybe if you're using enterprise education, you can avail this functionality. However, if you are leveraging Google Workspace Essentials or Business Starter, Enterprise Essential, or G Suite Basic Education or Nonprofit, you won't get that functionality, at least as per my recent understanding after reading Google's yesterday's blog. Okay, so I'm in my Google Workspace Admin Console and the first thing that I did was I created a bunch of groups so that I can attach these groups to my target audiences. For example, I created full-time groups and contractors group and in that I've respectively added all my full-time employees and all my contractors. Once that's done, you will go to directory and then target audiences. It still says beta. I hope that tag might go away soon because in yesterday's blog Google said it is now available in general availability. So I'll click on target audience. Here I've already created a couple of target audiences, contractors and leadership as you see. However, the first one, this will be the name of your company or whatever name that you signed up for Google Workspace. It, it will be here and it is the default audience and you can't delete this one. However, in case if you need to add target audience, for example, I need to add full-time employees, I'll go ahead and create a target audience and I'll call it full-time employees. And it's recommended to put description because this is what your users would be able to see when they hover on this target audience when sharing Google Drive Docs. So I'll say this uh, group includes all our full-time employees okay and I'll click on create once you are done with creating the audience you can go to add members click on add members and here you should be able to add either the individual user which of course is not recommended because it can't scale well you should ideally be adding the group so I've created FTE group already and I've added members to this group so I'll go ahead and select this one click on add 
and I'll just do a quick refresh just to make sure that it's there it is and then I'll close this window here I can click on apply to Google services and it will open the place that I should go to but I will for now just click on done and then I will rather go to apps Google workspace and drive in docs because I wanted to show you where this setting is and then you will go to sharing settings if you scroll down a bit you will see target audiences if you don't see it uh, it might be that you are not on the supported Google workspace or G Suite plan when you click on it, it it should give you an option to add more target audience than the default one but before that on the left hand side you see your organizational hierarchy and the best part is you can apply that to any of the organizational unit for example if you apply something on the root organization you should be able to override it by going to that specific organizational unit and then creating a separate target audience you can even go more granular by selecting the groups here and then assigning target audience to a specific set of users via their group membership for now I will click on my root organization and here I want to add uh, full-time employees and contractors at least two of them I'll click on save now one important point is here it says you can create up to five target audiences okay so if you create more than five it will give you an error saying you can't have more than five so I have three which which is fine but instead of giving everybody in my organization the first recommendation is to share with the whole company maybe I will just move this one a bit and first recommendation I want that it should be full-time employees then the whole company and finally the contractors with that I'll go ahead and save those changes okay so once that's done for my root organizational unit I'll go and apply a different target audience to maybe my EMEA sales sales engineering because I love sales engineering so I'll click on that sales engineering one and I'll make sure that I'm in sales engineering organizational unit by default it is inherited so I see those three which we applied on the root but on this one I'll go ahead and add the leadership as well so that these users can get recommendation to share something specifically with the leadership and I'll go ahead and overwrite it okay so now the result that I'm expecting after this that when somebody in my organization goes to share any document he or she will see these three options before anyone with the link in this order however anybody from sales engineering organizational unit does the same sharing he or she will also see this fourth option okay so to test it out I am uh, part of the root organizational unit so maybe I'll go ahead and create a new document with docs.new and I'll just put something here and click on share save okay when I share you will notice that it says uh, by default it is restricted which means I need to put the email addresses to share however I can change the restricted to these ones where now instead of just anyone with the link I see full-time employees and this is the description I was talking about and your company which means anybody in your Google tenant and finally the contractors target audience that we created so I'll go ahead and click on full-time and now this document can be accessed by anybody who is part of my full-time employees target audience or indirectly whoever is part of my FTE or full-time employees group membership and now let's see what the user who belongs to sales engineering organizational unit would see in terms of sharing okay so I have this user Azure which is a part of my EMEA sales sales engineering I've just logged in with that user just created it and put that in this organizational unit I'll go and create a new document for this user and uh, let us see what it shows as sharing options so when I go here you will see that still it says change link to full-time employees but when I click on that I also see the leadership option because we defined that on this specific organizational unit and of course you can change the membership uh, you can define the order for any specific organizational unit you can do a bunch of customization based on your requirements so this is how Google Drive target audiences would help us and our users in sharing with the limited audience as per our recommendation. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, 
As usual, please do not hesitate to put it under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much.